Today we are on the covered bridge trail and you might recognize this uh, little bridge behind us, uh, what we just walked over and it was in our last video, the elk viewing trail. Uh, these two trails, they meet up with each other. So today the covered bridge trail is about two, I wanna say 2.3 miles, I'm not sure. I'll put the, if it's not 2.3, I'll put the correction on the screen there. So it's a really nice day. It's not spring yet, but it definitely feels like it. It's almost 60 degrees, so it's gonna be a good hike today. Let's go pound that trail. to an area with a lot of icicles melting off the cliff here. Looks pretty neat. There's also a lot of mud on the trail. I don't know if you can see it or not, but all the snow is melting away, which is obviously creating a lot of mud for us to walk through, but it's definitely a nice day. Fire rising, I'll handle 
came here was to see the covered bridge it is called the covered bridge trail we could see it up ahead not too much farther See when this tree fell right here its roots pulled part of the trail with it We're here at Geiger's Bridge. It was built in 1860. I love these uh, red covered bridges, which is, they're all over Pennsylvania. 
I wasn't born in this state, but then when I did, you know, eventually uh, come over here to this state, I, was, I don't know, I just found them so fascinating. They're pretty neat. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Pennsylvania probably has some of the most covered bridges in the whole country. I'm not sure about that. I didn't look that up. Uh, I'm gonna guess maybe Ohio and New York, probably maybe a close second or so. But unfortunately, as the years go by, you know, they're disappearing, so, but they definitely make the state, you know, a lot prettier. trying to see what's on the other side. I think it's too steep. She's not gonna make it. That, that hill over there? <laughs> I 
I did not make it. <laughs> I tried. Mm -hmm. That's what counts. Yeah. But you said if there was 500 bucks up there, you'd make it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. It looked a little steep. I started walking over to it, and then all this grass, it's all full of water. My socks are soaked, so. But you're already wet, so you just. No, they, they weren't. Now they are. Oh, so they I, I turned them. around. Yeah. As soon as I stepped into it, my you feet are soaked. Right. Yep. started all right we made it back bridge is up ahead that's it for this trail covered bridge trail what do you think we found it <laughs> yeah I forgot to start the uh, in all trails the timer when we started the trail it's pretty much an easy trail. It's not really like going off route or anything like that. Mm -hmm. So, a little bit muddy. Uh, I think that's only because the snow's melting. I don't think it's like that most of the time, most of the year. But overall, it was, it was pretty decent. Nice. Yeah, a lot to see. You go up one side of the stream. I think it's called the Jordan Creek. Uh -huh. You go up one side of the Jordan Creek. You go across the covered bridge, and then you come back the other side. So overall, good trail. I give it a thumbs up. And it was only like two miles, 2.1 miles or something like that, 2.3 miles. 